Exploring the meaning of Old Mill, a journey into language and history. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss. The phrase, Old Mill. We'll delve into its meanings, origins, and how it is used in everyday language. So, if you're ready, let's get started on this linguistic journey. The phrase, Old Mill, consists of two words, Old and Mill. The word, Old, is an adjective that describes something as having existed for a long time or being of a specific age. Mill, on the other hand, is a noun, and it refers to a building equipped with machinery for grinding grain into flour. When these two words come together as, Old Mill, they describe a mill that has been around for quite some time, possibly hinting at its historical significance or the stories it might have to tell. It could be a landmark, a tourist attraction, or even a cherished local establishment depending on its condition and location. Many old mills are considered historical sites and are often preserved or turned into museums. They provide a glimpse into the past, showing us how people lived, worked, and produced essential goods like flour. An old mill might also hold cultural significance for a community, serving as a reminder of their heritage and the progress they have made over the years. Let's go through a few examples to see how old mill can be used in sentences. 1. We decided to visit the old mill on the outskirts of town to learn more about our town's history. 2. The old mill has been converted into a charming boutique hotel, attracting tourists from all over. 3. Despite its worn-out appearance, the old mill is still in operation, preserving the traditional methods of grinding grain. In these examples, Old Mill is used to describe a place that has historical value, has been repurposed, or is still functioning despite its age. And there we have it. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of what Old Mill means and how it can be used in different contexts. Remember, language is not just about words. It's also about history, culture, and the stories we tell. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.